Ooh, check it out. It's very crispy. <laughs> it's wonderful. I love this book so much. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. So come join me now. Hello everyone. Today we're going to see how we can transfer and print our own photos and text and texture directly into our journal. But obviously we can use this process to print on other surfaces, not just uh, your journal. You can actually transfer to so many other different surfaces, like wood, canvas, fabric, and even glass. <laughs> so check out this video right here <laughs> to see some of these uh, surfaces. And if I don't forget, I'll post a link to the video uh, below in the description box, <laughs> below this video. No matter what surface you're going to choose, this freeform process enables you to be creative. Put down paint, and start creating and of course transferring your own images photos or text in such a beautiful way you can build layers upon layers and combine different materials use textures colors stamps stencils This is why it's my favorite mixed media process. I'm in love with this process, not only because it's so much fun to do, but also because it's a free form practice that has no rules and it's all about going with the flow kind of process. <laughs> if you can't draw or paint, this is definitely the place for you. But even if you're not artistically challenged like me, but want to include photos or any other images in your artwork, you're very welcome to join me here in this video and see how I create using images, photos, and text. And at the end of this video, we're going to take a look at the journal I'm currently working on. So stick around and as always, feel free to let me know what you think about this process. <laughs> if you're going to give it a try, I'll be very interested to know. Yeah, so make sure you leave a comment down below. So let's start now. Let's see how it's done. So you can use any good quality journal and a mixed media journal will be just perfect for this. This is the one I'm going to use today. I especially like it because it has both white and craft pages. I'm going to post links to this journal and all the supplies I'm using today below this video. Also, I would like to recommend this journal. I recently bought it when I visited in Texas and it's, it's so lovely. The pages are pretty thick and they're smooth <laughs> and I love smooth papers so it's, it's just like really really nice. I already uh, started using it, I don't know if you can see <laughs> and I made a few, a few artworks. It's called Our Creation by Talents, I think, sketchbook. And I'll put it on the screen below so <laughs> you know uh, what to get. But I really recommend it. I love it and I love the size of it. And it wasn't too expensive. I think it was like $24 for it. So it's not too bad. And yeah, I'm gonna get another one, probably a different color. I love the white because I wanna decorate the cover this way i don't need to put any gesso or anything so yeah i would definitely recommend it <laughs> it's a wonderful one i like it a lot yeah it's pretty nice <laughs> for this process we're going to use gel printing plates i like to use different size gel plates when i'm printing in my journal but if you only have one size that's fine too so today I'm going to use a store-bought uh, plate, 
but mostly I'm going to use a homemade uh, gel plate uh, that I made by myself <laughs> like these and these I cut them down from a larger size uh, plate that's why there are different sizes <laughs> like this if you want to learn how to make your own homemade uh, gel plate from gelatin and I also show a vegan option check out this video right here and again, I'll post the link below this video. Make sure you watch it after you watch this video. <laughs> Don't leave yet. I will also post links to the commercial play just in case you wanna get one instead of making your own, which makes more sense to me. But just in case you don't have time or patience to make your own, then uh, you can always get the store-bought one. So first I choose the page I'm going to work on and I place my gel plate on an acrylic block or plexiglass so I can basically use it like a stamp. I start by adding color to my plate and I decide whether I'm going to create texture uh, with stencils and stamps. Or maybe I'm going to transfer images, photos, and text, like in this case. And just to be clear, I'm transferring my own photos and text, which I printed with my laser printer. And if this is all new to you and you're not sure how to transfer photos and text uh, with a gel plate, Make sure to check out the beginner's video I made previously after you finish watching this video. There is a link to the basic transfer tutorial below this video. But for now, just sit back and enjoy and watch me do all the work. Luckily, it's fun for me. I really like to make art journals and I just love printing with my gel plate. So combining both of them and Building these pages is just so relaxing and for sure satisfying. And I find that artist journals can be a great way to practice and document my creative process. And I know some artists make them as a gift for someone or even sell them. So yes, there are many different reasons why someone uh, wants to use or create an artist journal. And as always, feel free to share your experience if you're into art uh, journals. Um, I would love to know why you use them, how you use them, and <laughs> and so on. <laughs> Thank you. And here I'm using some of my homemade gel plates just to add some fun colors and textures to my journal. Homemade gelatin plates are perfect for creating temporary stamps and stamping your artwork with fun, colorful textures. As you can see, I really like using neon colors on the craft pages. And by the way, if you're interested in learning step-by-step -step how to image transfer and gel print your own photos, I have a fun online class. And I really like printing with the round gel plate. You can actually print some really interesting imprints with this shape. And it's also a great way to print your photos. This is footage from another video 
Just to show you what the photos look like when they're printed with the round homemade gel plate. Okay, now back to our journal. And if you like this process, you're going to love my book, the new mixed media photography book. It's available on Amazon, so make sure you check it out soon. And if you prefer the digital PDF uh, version, check out the ebook. It's available on my website, nitzacreativestudio.com, which is, by the way, a new website, so you're welcome to check it out. And I'm going to use Amsterdam Van Dyke Brown to print this photo from Portugal. It's one of my very favorite photos I took during my week's visit to this beautiful country. I really hope I'll be able to visit there one day again. And now I'm going to transfer some text from this magazine. And here I'm pretty much cleaning my plate and pulling whatever is there with some bright yellow paint. And this is my favorite stamp, which is actually a homemade stamp. Why buy it if you can make it yourself, right? As far as I can uh, remember, since I could write, I always had a diary, a journal, a notebook, where I wrote my thoughts and ideas and mostly poems and short stories. <laughs> That's what I used to write. <laughs> I thought I'm going to be an author when I grow up. <laughs> Didn't really happen. Well, I guess it happened in a way. <laughs> Not the type of author I thought I'd be, but I guess it happened in a way. <laughs> Nowadays, I use art journals to test and experiment with my processes and different materials, <laughs> like I do in this one. I don't know if you can see. I think I love this one, especially. It 
it's very crispy. I love the sound of a crispy journal. <laughs> One of the best things I love to do is exploring and creative photographic and mixed media processes. Obviously, these are rather ambitious endeavors and they take a lot of documenting. So this is the reason I have plenty of journals around me. <laughs> I'm sure many artists have different reasons to create uh, art journals. Sometimes an art journal can be a place where someone can be creative, share or bring out an emotion. Also, I hope it doesn't sound pretentious, but I think leaving behind my personal journals can be my legacy, like my way of saying I was here. And it makes you feel like you matter in some way, in some little way. <laughs> and now as promised, let's take a look at the journal I'm currently working on. I'm mostly using it to test different paints and ideas I have. Also, I would like to thank you so much for your comments and your questions and mostly your suggestions. I really love hearing from you and I really appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you next time. Bye. But also because it's a free form. Yeah, it's kind of blurry. Dot com. <laughs> And it's all about going with the... <laughs> also because it's a... <laughs> one of my preferred... <laughs> one of the best thing I love. Today we're going to see... <laughs> all right. Nowadays I use, my <laughs> use this process to print on many other different... <laughs> Obviously, we can use this process to print on many different other surfaces. <laughs> so I forgot to use the, the microphone. So now we're going to start all over. Sorry, Nitsa. I can do it again. Don't go away. I love this book. It says, I'll post a link to this video below this, below this video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.